Hi, my name is Connor Terrio and I'm a BIM Technical Specialist here at Red Cage Solutions. Today I'd like to talk to you about a quick way to type dimensions and values in your properties. Okay, so to start off I'm just going to navigate to a floor plan view and I'm going to zoom in on some of these suites. I'd like to move this wall to the right uh, about a foot or so. So to do that I'm going to come up here to annotate. I'm going to select my aligned dimension and I'm going to dimension from the inside of this wall so to grab that I'm just going to tab tab button on my keyboard. Uh, tabbing uh, cycles through selection options uh, and then I'm going to dimension to this wall, center of that wall. Now if I select that wall you can see my dimension kind of fades and the text turns to blue. Uh, when your text is blue that means you can click into it and change that value. So I'm going to change this to uh, 8 foot 6, so 8 apostrophe dash six inches uh, and then I'm going to press enter okay, and you can see that change that move my wall change that value to eight foot six now uh, if I wanted to make this eight foot four instead of eight foot six watch what I do now I'm going to select my wall typing in eight space four enter Okay, so Revit will recognize the feet and inches and the dash. All you have to do is place the numbers. Okay, so that works for your properties as well. So if I come here to architecture, I'm just going to draw a little half wall in this room and go to wall, basic wall, generic, five inches. Uh, and I'm going to draw it um, top offset. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to go unconnected, and the unconnected height is going to be uh, four feet. Just type in the number four and apply. It will put in the rest. So now, if I come in here, put my wall in, little half wall. Let's get a section through here. There's my little half wall. Okay, it also works with temporary dimensions. If you select an element, the little blue dimensions that pop up, those are temporary dimensions. So you can click the text there, say I wanted this wall to be five foot six and a half. Five foot six and a half. Okay, so this process, if you didn't know about it already, will hopefully speed up your workflow uh, as you're working within Revit.